Hello, if you chat with the channel, you obviously know about Onki Overdrive, but we're here again at Onki to see a new product, Cosmo, and we've got Hans Tepiner, president of Onki, to tell us all about it. So, this little chap, I'm, I'm quite excited, but, but where do you start? Yeah, so I mean, Cosmo is a little robot with a personality the way how you would normally only see it in, in movies. And um, we started designing Cosmo over four and a half years ago now um, when we first realized that this idea of uh, uh, personality and character in physical things is a really big deal it was already with drive and overdrive and we were trying to figure out really how do we bring out personality and character in something uh, physical and real and that's essentially what Cosmo is now I had a chance to, to play with Cosmo yeah. a little bit earlier and it's, it's really it's hard to describe um, but it's, it is that sense of engagement so Cosmo rolled out, saw my face, mm -hmm. yeah. and so the, the eyes changed, yeah. recognized me, and I, once I'd put my name in it, he, he then said my name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it, it did feel like meeting sort of a physical Pixar character, but it was physical on the desk. Yeah, exactly. So really when you look at uh, famous robots in movies, um, um, Wally, -E, R2-D2, Johnny Five from Short Circuit and so forth, um, they only exist in movies, but people really connect with their personality a lot. And what we were trying to do with Cosmo is to get that same personality into a real physical form factor. And what you just mentioned earlier, the fact that Robo that Cosmo looked around, um, recognized you, and then said your name, those are the kind of things we had to build into the robot in order to make him feel like a real character. And um, yeah, we, we see a lot of robotic toys. Mm -hmm. um, but what, what differentiates how this experience that Cosmo gives you compared to something else that maybe we've seen before? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I really think the main difference is that Cosmo is really an actual character. So he will do things like, like literally like using a camera to recognize in you and then he will remember who you are and if you play a game with him uh, today he will remember that yesterday at 3 p.m. he played the same game with you and you might have uh, uh, won four times in a row so he's gonna be upset about that and really try to beat you so I think the main difference is just the extent to which character was integrated into a robot like this all the way from the robotics and AI to our entire animation team here some of them uh, former Pixar animators and so forth really all working on every minute detail of how this robot would behave in a real world situation yeah. and so in terms of how it works so you have a, there's an app that goes um, yeah. with Cosmo um, he also has a camera but maybe you can sort of talk us through the different elements that come together to create that character yeah absolutely so uh, first there is Cosmo itself so he's fairly small he's about hamster size um, ha hamster size I like that yeah yeah about the size of a hamster so he can easily fit in the palm of your hand um, the most important sensor in the robot is a camera the camera sits here where the mouth is above the camera is a high resolution OLED screen very important the speaker inside the robot and then the robot has the green of freedom such as moving his head up and down moving his arms up and down the arms are there for him to manipulate his environment he comes with what we call power cubes they're sort of his play toys and they're used also in gameplay with the robot and then um, what you mentioned earlier the phone is the other very important component to this because while Cosmo itself is sort of the um, incarnation of the robot the AI and the computer vision and so forth is actually running on your mobile device. So the mobile device, tablet, phone, anything like that is a very important component of the play experience. So you can, for example, play different games with the robot where he will play either with you or against you in a game. One of the games we ship with is called uh, Quick Tap. So it's a game of uh, where um, the robot has one of his power cubes and you have one of the power cubes and whoever taps a cube quicker whenever the cubes light up in the same color gets a point. So this is a very competitive game and um, the robot's very good at it. So um, as you get better, the robot will get better over time. And then if you win, you will get points for that. Even for just interacting with the robot, you will get points for it. And then you can use those points to unlock more features in the robot. And features are, for example, basic skills, for example, him being able to stack cubes into a tower or um, learning how to roll a cube or so. But then you can also unlock unlock completely new modes, for example, additional games, or um, another one is what we call explorer mode. Um, that's where you um, sort of use your mobile device to control the robot. It's sort of like, almost like remote controlling him a little bit around, but you get a camera view on your phone from the robot and his personality is still on. So it's more like 
almost like riding a horse, I guess, a little bit, because um, if he, if you try to drive him somewhere and he doesn't want to go there, he might decide not to go there. And so you sort of like have to work with him together to uh, drive him around and figure out uh, uh, where you want to go. Yeah. So um, there are a lot of different things, very different games and activities you can play with Cosmo. And through the app, you're going to unlock them over time and get more and more of them as you're sort of like advancing through the experience with the robot. Yeah. As you talked about coming up to launch there, has it, has it got a date and is there a price for it? Yes, um, so the price here in the US is $179 and launch date is October 16th. And so it will launch with those features that you've mentioned already. Will you be adding more features post-launch? Yes, absolutely. And so we will be adding more features post-launch, of course, in a very similar way how we've been already doing it with Drive and Overdrive. That has worked out super well for the company where we say, okay, you invest in the hardware and then we as a company commit to releasing uh, new things, new features, new gameplay modes over time. And the same thing is going to be true for Cosmo where we're going to constantly be adding yeah, new games, new features, new capabilities and interactions with the robot there. Yeah. And so you mentioned Overdrive and Drive there. So this is the third product that Onkey's released. Yes. Um, but it feels like this kind of gets to the root of your sort of robotics background and the experience you have. How, how does this, how long has it been in the making? Yeah, I mean, we've started working on Cosmo in the fall of 2011 already. That's when the idea came up for the first time, really coming out of some of the very early experiences we had with, with Overdrive and how important character and personality was. And then it just literally took us four and a half, five years to get to this point. Yeah. Well, great. Thanks for having a show yeah. of Cosmo. Uh, yeah, I can't wait for my kids to meet him. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah. Oh, it's been really good. Thanks a lot. Yeah, thanks. Nice meeting you. Yeah.